this is a can of chickpeas. To me it is. To the fellow across the river, in the city I live in, Ceci, c'est une boîte de pois chiches. Because they speak French, and I say, no it isn't. It's a can of chickpeas, look. It says right here. And to which my French-speaking neighbor says, Si, 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 monsieur, c'est une canette de pois chiches. Tiens, regarde, ici, c'est inscrit clairement. C'est une boîte de pois chiches. Okay, we differ. Is that a conflict? I would say no, it isn't. And it's more fundamental than just the linguistic angle that I've thrown in here. This is kind of Canadian obsession is language. Um, let's say that I say that it's a matter, it's a, a jumble of matter, energy, and empty space, and somebody else says, no, it's a can of food. All right, even then, is there a conflict? Does there need to be a conflict? Does one of us have to be right and one of us have to be wrong? I would say no. <laughs> um, when we have two people who say diametrically opposed things, does that have to be uh, a matter of conflict? I would say no, it doesn't. We can agree to disagree, or we can agree to say that, well, for your purposes it is a can of chickpeas, and for my purposes it's a jumble of matter, energy, and empty space. We're both right, and neither of us really is right. And in a sense, if we say that the other guy is wrong, we're both wrong. Um, you don't have to conflict on things like this. You don't have to say, I am right, you're wrong. Um, the truly intractable problems in this world, if you ask me, are the ones that are caused by that kind of attitude. Uh, we can agree to differ. Say, 20 years ago, I don't think anyone would have said that the peace that seems to have come permanently to Northern Ireland would have been possible, given the fundamental intractability of the disagreements that are there. Now, both sides, because they have both decided that the issue, that the biggest problem with Northern Ireland was not the disagreements over how the map should look or how, I don't know, power should be shared or whatever, if at all. The biggest problem was the conflict itself. So the two constituencies said to their politicians, solve the conflict, bring peace to Northern Ireland, or I'll just replace you with somebody else. And lo and behold, peace came to Northern Ireland, even though the divisions are as severe as ever. They have decided that they will agree to differ on certain things, and it takes on an element of hypocrisy. Um, the Ulster Protestants have given up on the idea of a completely Protestant-dominated Northern Ireland without saying so much, and the Republican Northern Irish, the Catholics, I guess, have given up on the idea of a united Ireland without saying so much. Because the main thing, the thing that they do agree on, and they do, do agree on more strongly than anything else, is the desirability of ending the conflict. It doesn't matter what this really is for the purposes of interacting with other people. Um, what matters is how our view of this intersects. That's what's important in terms of human relationships. There's no I'm right and you're wrong in this. 